Like many other Americans, the first thing Steve White does after he wakes up in the morning is step on a scale. Welcome to CardioCom. But this is no ordinary scale. Ready for health check? Are you feeling more short of breath? Feel more short of breath lying down? This scale is actually a remote patient monitoring device for people with congestive heart failure. The 51-year-old White was diagnosed in early January with cardiomyopathy. That's weakening of the heart muscle. To me, I thought it was the flu because I couldn't breathe well, especially when I was laying down. And I was coughing a lot and didn't have, couldn't get a deep breath. White now takes a variety of medications every day. He's had to stop drinking and adopt a low-sodium diet. I had to change my life, and I've lost 50 pounds because of it. And to make sure his weight and other risk factors stay under control, White uses this special scale called CardioCom. Because White's heart doesn't pump well, his body tries to make up for it by retaining fluid in his lungs. That can be dangerous. Your maximum allowed weight is... The CardioCom scale can detect as little as one-tenth of a pound of excess fluid. Point three pounds. Two times in the last couple of months, I've gained and lost five pounds in one day. Uh, pure fluid in my body, and that scale tells me that. The scale also electronically transmits the information to Odette Crandall in her downtown San Diego office. She's a congestive heart failure case manager at Sharp Rees Steely Medical Centers. I get all the transmissions from Steve every day. If Steve alert, and depending on the questions that he answer, if he's having problems, issues with the weight, breathing, or swelling, then he will show up on my acute list. When someone shows up on her acute list, Crandall checks the patient's answers to the cardiacom questions from that morning. The ones that you see in red, those are acute symptoms, and those are the ones that are going to bring him to the acute list if he answers positive. Crandall can also review patient data from the last 30 days. Then she'll pick up the phone and call the patient to find out what's up. Hi, good morning. This is Odette Crandall. I'm calling from the Charper Steely Heart Failure Program in Cardiocom. Can I speak to Stephen White? Crandall says sometimes the patient's issues on a particular day are not associated with their heart condition. If it's related to the heart failure and there's concerns, then I communicate with the doctor and let him know what's going on. Crandall is one of three case managers at Sharp Rees Steely who keep tabs on heart patients. Each manager handles about 130 patients. Sharp's population health department also tracks people with asthma. Janet Appel directs the division. She explains telemedicine devices like CardioCom enable patients with severe chronic diseases to manage their conditions at home. Case managers can use their daily health updates to make sure patients are staying on track. And actually be able to provide some interventions via medication or instructions to keep the patient from going to the emergency room or even being admitted into the hospital. Appel points out some patients don't feel comfortable calling their doctor about every little problem. What's more, doctors aren't that easy to reach, but her case managers are. And this way they have someone who's here who answers the phone, who can give them advice or answer questions and be able to say whether it's appropriate to go into the office or if it's something that we can take care of at home. A number of remote medical sensors and other telemedicine devices have emerged in recent years. Take this device developed by San Diego Sotera Wireless, for example. The Visi Mobile system is able to measure and display all major vital signs through a sensor placed around the patient's finger. It can wirelessly transmit the data to a desktop or tablet computer. You see on the top screen, I can see the actual cardiogram. Then I want to look at the blood pressure waveform. So I have the blood pressure, and then here's the waveform beat to beat of the heart. So basically what you have here is an intensive care unit uh, on the wrist. Dr. Eric Topol is a cardiologist and director of the Scripps Translational Science Institute in La Jolla. It's focused on bringing the latest in wireless health technology to the patient. Dr. Topol says with devices like Visi, most patients could be monitored at home. That's why the hospital of the future uh, is really vulnerable, because why do you need a hospital? Except for really sick people, because most people will have their monitoring in their own home or even on the go. But Dr. Topol is concerned that our medical system just isn't fully prepared to embrace these innovations. These things are just now becoming uh, available, just becoming uh, 
a, a possibility, but typically in medicine it takes many, many years before wide-scale adoption takes place. The average number is somewhere 15 to 17 years. We can't wait that long. We need to innovate out of the mess that we're in from a healthcare economic point of view. For the time being, only a relatively small number of health systems like Sharp Re Steely are using remote medical devices to any degree. As a result, there aren't that many patients who are benefiting from them. Steve White says he feels lucky to have his Cardiacom scale. White hopes by keeping such close track of his condition and by taking care of himself, he'll be able to beat the odds. I've done a lot in my time and so I feel that uh, it's all right that uh, I'm going to live with it the way it is and do well and uh, baffle the, uh, the baffle the congestive heart failure. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News. Your attendant is being transmitted.